This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. Here's what we know about cases of coronavirus in Nebraska. Right now there are 27 cases in the state. 23 of those are in Douglas County. A lot of questions remain on what a state of emergency means after Mayor Gene Stothert made the announcement on Wednesday. Now here's a breakdown of some of the changes we're seeing. The state of emergency prohibits or limits the number of people who can gather in any outdoor public place except those awaiting on transportation or entering or leaving buildings. It gives the mayor the power to establish a curfew, limiting the hours when people can travel public streets. But it's important to note that that has not been discussed at this time. And it requires the closure of cocktail lounges, taverns and bars. Restaurants can remain open, but their dining areas are now closed. Takeout, delivery and drive through are still allowed. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Steffen with this latest weather update. Tornado watch is supposed to remain in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. I think it will expire before that time as colder air continues to rush in, but the potential for severe thunderstorms will continue at least for another few hours. What we're looking at will mainly be large hail, gusty winds. I think the overall tornado threat will start to decrease as strong north winds start blowing in and cooler air starts really taking over that warmer air down to the south of us. But still, the potential for for some strong and even isolated severe storms will continue at least up until about I would say close to seven or eight o'clock tonight. That will start to come to an end pretty quickly as the colder air starts rushing in as this front starts dropping southward and it's got really a lot of moisture with it, switching it from rain to snow. So what we're looking at is a band of snow potentially forming after about 11 to maybe even close to midnight. That will continue to keep rushing in. By the time we get to about 3 o'clock in the morning, this is really a brief shot. So the snow will be coming to an end. And we will be looking at a big drop in temperatures, though, expecting lows to get down to about teens and 20s. And in the afternoon, with a strong gusty wind out of the north, we are looking at highs only in the upper 20s to low 30s. So again, an abrupt change for the first full day of spring. As far as the snow amounts, we're looking quarter to a half an inch along the I-80 corridor. Again, higher amounts further to the northwest of us. So we could see some amounts of maybe one to two plus inches anywhere between about Tacoma, Columbus, Norfolk, and Wayne. Our extended forecast cast here showing the winds. They are going to be extremely strong, especially up until about nine o'clock in the morning with gusts blowing in from the north 30 to 40 plus miles an hour. So very blustery winds, which will make it feel even colder. Wind chills during the morning will be down in the single digits. So again, we start the day off in the teens. We're going to only get up to 31 with strong winds from the north. At least we get a little bit of sunshine. A few clouds around for, for, for Saturday, and we are looking at a high of 42. Gradual warming trend here, almost close to 50 on Sunday. Slight chance for showers maybe later on in the evening. Monday, again, a slight chance we could see a stray shower. 40% chance right now on Tuesday for mainly the morning, but we get closer to 60 and we do jump up to 60 on Wednesday with a chance for some scattered activity. Very active going into next week. That's right, gang. The Godfather's going for three. The three-piece big cookie combo, that is. Get a medium specialty pie, a medium one-topping pie, and the MVP, a frosted basketball cookie. Godfather's Pizza. Do it.